Imogen, Michael and Alan's refugee journey has come full circle. This looks where Abdi lived. They arrive back at Abdi's house in Melbourne. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Hi. G'day. Good to see you. G'day, mate. Hi. Hello, Bonaxon. How are you going? Yeah. Yeah. And this is to see you. for you, mate. Thank you. A dead set genuine. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. From the airport gift shop in Mogadishu. That's your country's flag, mate. Or half your country. Australia, your country as well. But yeah. it's a genuine original with this being carried all the way around the world. <laughs> Thank you. How's your trip? We saw some amazing things. We saw some terrible things. And uh, I guess we also saw a few signs of hope. I reckon if, you're, if your memories are of a beautiful neo-colonial Italian town by the seaside with wonderful monuments and parks and things like that, Abdi, I think your heart would be broken. The group have a surprise for Abdi, video of his old home and his uncle he hasn't seen in 20 years. Uh, it doesn't look the same. <laughs> no. no. Uh, this is... Well, I you, can't were, believe you were 13, uh, <laughs> but that, we're pretty sure, is your house. For 20 years I didn't... Uh, I couldn't imagine what it looked like. There he is. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> it's my uncle. He's been quite ill. Mm. He got prostate cancer. Yeah. It breaks your heart to think that's your home. It turned to crap by stupid damn war. And what that does to the people and their homes and, you know. I'm, I'm glad you see it that way because I didn't think you would, but uh, thanks, yeah. I know, um, I don't want to cry. <laughs> um, just thank you for opening your heart and your family to us and your journey. You're an amazing person. Thank you. And thank you to your mum yeah, and the girls. <laughs> we thought we'd enjoy some excellent uh, Somali food, but nobody's was as good as yours. So I think you're the, you're the best uh, Somali cook uh, in the world. <laughs>